Hi, hi everyone! Finally got to my boxy charm for June. Is it June? No, I have. Yeah. This is for June 2022. I got this so darn early, I didn't realize it's already for June. So I finally got to unbox this box so you can see what I received. Yeah. I'm doing a few unboxings, so you're gonna see the same outfit, but that's okay. I just need to get these filmed so I can get them uploaded so I can share them with you. So if you want to see what I did receive in this June box, just keep watching. This is the base box, by the way. I don't get any other box but the base box. It's good enough and I love it. I'm using never disappointed art. If I am, it's very rare. I just watched some unboxings for the Lux and the Premium and for me it's not really worth the extra money. I get enough satisfaction out of getting these base boxes. I have enough products but I just can't see myself to cancel because I get FOMO. And I also like the idea that I get to buy products in their pop-up shop at very deep discount. And I do have a bunch of things to show you guys um, that I bought in the last several months. Um, I won't do that today. I want to do it pretty quick because I'm not using them because I want to show you. Well, I think I've used a couple, but I want to show you. All right, this month is Express Yourself. It looks like it's in the um, rainbow colors. So it's for um, Pride Month. And on the back uh, is the description and the products that I received and the retail price, yes. And they say the version is the last two numbers because I couldn't figure it out. So if that's the case, I'm not sure. Looks like I got version 6, maybe? I'm not sure. They don't... I don't feel like I used to. <laughs> Some more sneaks. And they do let you choose one product a month. Um, use the choice between two different things. This month was two different eyeshadow palettes. And I believe this box is now, where are you, $29, I think. Yeah. But they keep going up. I can't keep track. This is by Violet Voss, and it's Sun Kiss Summer. I love the color of the packaging. They're pretty good. Pink and rose gold. Gorgeous. I love pretty packaging, what can I say? I think most of us do. You want to feel like you're opening up something really elegant and special. And I do like Black Foss's formula. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see here. Pretty decent mirror. And here are the colors. Ooh, I'm excited about this. This is by Dry Bar, it's Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. Oh, I just need to use this right now. I'm going to do that. Okay, check out my glasses. Grab my, my cute little Pomeranian mirror and spray my hair, see if it helps. I did spray some other spray, which I like. Has to be broken in the pump does. It takes a few. A strong scent, but pretty. See that first initial spray. Oh, well, what I can tell so far, I get excited easy. <laughs> and they make my hair a little flatter.
Well, it feels nice so far. I could probably put more on, but I want to get on with the unboxing. Yeah, that I'm going to love. Put my glasses back on. And the next thing I'm pulling out is by Kismet Polished Lip Plumping Gloss. I would try it better. I got two different lipsticks on. But I'm going to put it on my hand for you. Doe fit, normal doe fit, nothing special. I can still in this hand. I had something left over from the last video. Ooh, that's pretty. Looks like that same color of lip crayon I got in the last box of um, the unboxing I just did. It was a U Allure box I just did. No smell at all. Mm -mm doesn't sting or nothing on my hand so I don't know if it's not gonna be a stinger I don't mind a little bit all right let's go ahead and take that off because it's, it's very um, wet I want to get over my clothes okay the brightening polish it's a you know, here's what it is turmeric brightening polish face and body. Never ever ever heard of this brand or this type of product. I know turmeric's good for inflammation. Huh. That's different. <laughs> but uh, I could use it because my body is quite creepy. Not creepy, creepy, like crepe paper. Maybe creepy too. Especially the young ones, you know, look up this old people think, oh look at that shriveled up old lady. Well, they'll get there someday. And we are wishing on them my worst enemy. But it's part of life. Ooh. Look at that. Can you see it? I don't know how I kinda got on. Um, Kind of put it on my arm wrong there so you could see it, but maybe you can see it. Oh, it's granulated. It's a body polish. What if you have to wash it off? I guess I have to read about it. There's no smell, not at all. Not a smidgen of smell. Okay, so let's see if I can wash it. Wipe it off with this tissue. I better make water. But I'm in the wine cellar. No water here. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was water here in the wine cellar. Can't really tell. I think I have to wash it to really tell. But uh, okay, we'll give that a try. And last but not least is this. What is this you say? It is. Dual liquid eyeliner. Oh, a dual liquid? Oh, the dual liquid eyeliner. I thought it was a pencil. It's in blue and black. I'm not real crazy about blue eyeliners, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, I'll venture out. I said, Do you like eyeliners? And I like liquid eyeliner. And I like liquid eyeliner. gotta take off this plastic here. It's always fun. <laughs> you think they'd make it easy. It's hard. Especially with paper thin nails. This looks like it's the blue side. Oh, well that's actually a pretty blue. Your words, eat my words. It's pearlescent. Everybody like it. And what's this one? Black. Yay! Wow. That felt tips is real bendable. It's more like a brush, which I like. I like the real stiff felt pens. Well, I'm really excited about this. I never heard of this brand, C Celia. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over this real quickly and tell you the ins and outs about it, the price. This dual liquid eyeliner pearl is $35 retail price. Hello beautiful, this long wearing liner glides on effortlessly with unique design tapered brush. These two shimmering shades, black and icy blue, contain rich pearl pigments that provide a smudge proof luminous effect. The Kismet Polish Lip Plumping Gloss. As sweet, as soft as a baby, this lip gloss offers up a ideally pinky nude pout. The perfect everyday gloss. Plump your lips and reduce wrinkles in one simple swipe. This whisper lightweight treatment moisturizes and provides a natural gloss finish. So I don't think it's like a plumper. Oh, maybe they need some because of my age, which I do need something like that because I have a lot of lines now. Gosh, I remember the day I didn't have a single line in my lips and I seen ladies who did and I thought, oh gosh, I hope I don't get those. Because not that they were ugly or anything, because I don't think they are, but it's just the fact that your lipstick wants to run. That's why. And um, yeah, I got them. <laughs> this thing is by Bye Voss. It's a real pretty summer eyeshadow. And it's also a pressed pigment palette. She the most iconic summer look year round with this universally flattering warm naturals from the sunny golds to blazing hot rose golds. Experience exquisite formulas from ultra smooth matte to dazzling metallics that layer and blend seamlessly with one another. And it retails for $37. That's not too bad. Happy to have that. Of course, one of my favorite things in the box is this Dry Bar Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. Meet the ultimate frizz fighter. Heat activated technology wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand, providing frizz resistance. Leaves a super glossy, silky finish with weighing, without weighing down hair. Lasts for three washes. Wow. Okay, this is heat setting. Okay, so once I get a new iron or find my old one, I think things works still. I'll see if that works. That's fine. Oh, and that retails for, where are you? $34, that's not too bad. This thing lasts me forever. Then we got the turmeric brightening polish and an indulgent polishing scrub powered by turmeric to visually brighten skin and reveal a natural looking glow. $38. So I have to rinse this off for a really see that effect. Yeah, because right now I feel the grains, granules. Did I get everything? Mm -hmm. I think so. That's it. Okay. And let me see what the total retail value is. The box, I believe I told you it was $29. Pretty sure. I'll make corrections. You know, insert them in my video if, if I'm wrong. Total retail suggested price is $162. Um, earlier, before I filmed this, I did sneak peek some of these and I thought, oh, this box ain't so great. But now that I've gotten into it and really read about it, what's great about it to me is the fact that I haven't had these products before. Yes, I've had eye palettes from Skeleton London before, but you know, it's different. And not Skeleton London. Yes, I've had palettes from Violet Voss before, but not this particular one, of course. And I enjoy that always, and it was my pick. Um, I haven't tried, I don't think, any other products in here. They're all new to me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had tried some dry bar, but I know, I don't know. I must have. It just seems real familiar to me. But anyway, I'm super happy with this box after all. Super happy. So five out of five. I give it five. I don't do that very often. And here when I looked at that earlier, I don't want to give it to about three. Sometimes it just takes to reassess, sit back, and actually 
understand what the products are doing for you or it's the claim they're going to do for you. Hopefully it lives up to the claim for your skin. If it doesn't, it's not for me. I still give them the benefit of the doubt that we're for someone else because we're all so different. Especially me. I'm a much older, mature woman than probably a lot of you watching me. So my skin issues are constantly changing. So I'm really enjoying this box. That's why I don't cancel. Because they really, for me, they've always kept up with my profile. Um, but yeah, I've had some misses. Sometimes I get stuff for acne. I don't have it, but maybe some later older adults do have it. I, it's possible. I watched Dr. Pimple Popper, so yeah, things are possible. My point is, is that, uh, yeah, give some beauty subscriptions a chance. Don't be so hesitant. Um, or don't be so quick to judge. I'm not saying you're doing it. I just find that other YouTubers do. Maybe maybe that's how they really feel. I don't want to say anything negative. Um, could be. I mean, one's different. It's okay to be negative. Um, but I try to find the positive when I can. And yeah, I'm going to be negative once in a while. Who? Who? I'm normal. I'm human. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to get this edited. I have three videos to edit tonight. Well, I can get them out. I made little mistakes here and there, but I'm going to just put them up the way I did them and keep doing these so I get a little more smoother and more informational. So I'm forgetting to say things. I know I am, but I want to just remind you to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed, also give me a like course if you enjoyed it and if you don't like like it you can go ahead and give me thumbs down it still helps me although it makes me sad when they see those like oh what did I do wrong but then again why am I asking that question it's not that I'm doing it wrong <laughs> also give me a quick comment I would really appreciate hear from you and share this video if you think it'd be valuable to someone else I really appreciate that it helps my channel grow it helps my community I want to be more of a community I have to get I believe 500 subscribers to have a community so I can start doing community posts. So I would love that. That way I can talk to you more often without me having to go through the process of filming and editing. But I do love that too. Anyway, I'm letting you go now. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.